Hi, I'm Dan Scott, Canine Nutrition and Home Remedy Specialist. And in this video, I want to share with you three natural insect repellents that are effective and won't leach chemicals into your dog, into your kids and into the environment. When the weather warms up and summer's around the corner, it's time to think about protection from mosquitoes, fleas and ticks for your dog. You may also be thinking, well, what's good for protection for my dog but that's natural? With thoughts on the safety element and not exposing your dog to synthetic and toxic chemical-based insecticides leaching into your dog's body, here's three natural alternatives that give protection to your dog during mosquito season but won't expose your dog to toxic chemicals and long-term harm. And here's an example of that from one of my customers. I had a horrible experience buying a cheaper flea and tick oil from Walmart a few years back, as well as a pill because the vet meds I had been using just became out of my budget. And within a few days, one of my dogs had a seizure and I panicked. She's been on the seizure meds ever since. Natural insect repellents are easy to make up or you can buy ready-made as a pump spray, easy to use and far safer for your dog. So with that in mind, here's three natural options. Neem oil. Neem is excellent as a repellent for mosquitoes, ticks, fleas, mites and lice. Neem oil is pressed from the bark, leaves, fruit and seeds of the Azaradicta indica tree, an evergreen tree native to India where it has been used for thousands of years as a cure-all for everything from skin problems to insect repellent. The bark and leaves are usually ground into powder and used for internal healing, while the more potent oil extract is used externally. For daily flea irritation, when your dog has a few fleas in the fur, mix in some pure neem oil to an organic leave-on hair conditioner or jojoba oil, or pure shear butter. Add five drops of neem oil to one tablespoon of conditioner or jojoba oil or shear butter, and then rub in all over the coat of your dog to stop the fleas biting. The fleas will then begin to starve and die. Then begin combing out the fleas each day until they're all gone. As a general insect repellent, once a week, dab on a little 50-50 mixture of the neem and carrier oil, such as a grapeseed oil, at the base of your dog's neck, between the shoulder blades, and on the rear end above the tail between the hips, and a little under the armpits and groin to keep fleas away. Cedar is an excellent choice. It's non-toxic to dogs and humans, but very toxic to mosquitoes, fleas, ticks, and most flying insects in much the same way as neem oil. Cedar oil derived from conifer trees is commonly used in perfumes, aromatherapy, and as an insect repellent. It's antibacterial and antifungal, considered safe by the Food and Drug Administration to be used as a food preservative. Cedar oil was used by the ancient Egyptians as an embalming oil and to keep insects away from the body. The oil has that smell of cedar wood that most people like and dogs are okay with, but insects hate it. Any insects that come into contact with cedar oil will eventually die, including the larvae and the eggs. Cedar oil can be used in much the same way as neem oil by adding three drops of the pure essential oil of cedar wood to one tablespoon of carrier oil, such as grapeseed oil. Apply the oil mix to your dog's rear end above the tail between the hips and a little under the armpits and groin to keep fleas away. Another easy way to use cedar wood is by spraying with a prepared 16 ounce spray product. You can use the spray directly on your dog's coat before they go outside. You can also use it around the house, the yard and while traveling to repel fleas, ticks, mosquitoes and mites. It can also be used on bed bugs, bedding and anywhere needed around the house to propel nearly all insects and rodents. The third option to consider is lemon eucalyptus oil. It comes from the gum of the eucalyptus tree and it's effective at repelling mosquitoes and ticks. Again, you can use it like neem oil by getting the essential oil, mixing in three drops into one tablespoon of grapeseed oil and applying a few drops directly to your dog's body at the base of your dog's neck between the shoulder blades and on the rear end above the tail between the hips. Your dog's skin oil will distribute the lemon eucalyptus oil and just reply twice weekly to repel mosquitoes. You can use the ready-made spray version as an effective repellent too. My advice is to avoid getting it into your dog's eyes because it stings and by spraying it onto your hands first and then rubbing it gently into the fur of your dog's back but not on the face, head, legs, underside or paws. The scent is enough to deter mosquitoes. I'll leave a link in the description below for Repel Lemon Eucalyptus that has excellent reviews for repelling mosquitoes. And it's the only non-deep product that the International Travel Clinic recommends to those with destinations in malaria-prone countries. 
and oil of lemon eucalyptus is one of the only two non-DEET chemicals approved by the CDC. So if you and your dog live in a mosquito-infected area, this one will meet your needs. So there you go, three excellent natural insect repellent choices that are effective and not toxic to your dog. And remember, keeping your dog safe in the summer isn't just about repelling insects, but keeping them free from toxic pesticides. And I'll leave links to the correct products in the description below. And I'll also leave a link to another video about five excellent uses for diatomaceous earth, another effective natural method of flea control for dogs. And if you found this video useful, please remember to like it, share it with friends and subscribe so you'll always be up to date on all the latest videos that I do. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye for now.